Hello, it's just me. Uh, uh, in uh, my last video, I talked about artificial intelligence, and if I'm not mistaken, I touched upon something called deep learning. Uh, deep learning, uh, that sure sounds like something. Uh, uh, what is deep learning? Uh, well, uh, what you have uh, basically in artificial intelligence is something called artificial neural networks or ANN for short. Uh, uh, and what do they do? Well, they uh, are normally engaged in something called uh, pattern recognition. Uh, now, pattern re recognition is kind of the, the basis for uh, learning. And learning is, is uh, as I stated in uh, the previous video, uh, 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 something that uh, uh, basically all uh, kinds of, of uh, artificial intelligence um, are about. Uh, as far as I know, there are kind of three main kinds of approaches to artificial intelligence. There's something called connectionism, uh, there's something called conceptual spaces, and uh, there is um, artificial neural networks, ANN. Uh, now, uh, artificial neural networks are supposed to be, you know, pretty much similar to a, a human brain, um, which is supposed to be con um, yeah, organized in, in terms of neural networks. You got it. Uh, to me, that doesn't make sense. It's it's virtually nonsense. Uh, the human brain is, is uh, greatly more complex uh, than that. We can have like clusters of, of um, <laughs> uh, so to speak, information information processing uh, things going on, and uh, there are there are more to to the human brain than, than only uh, uh, neurons. Um, uh, the human brain is uh, is um, yeah well it's it's like the fundamental building block that would be the neuron and that's basically something that we refer to as neurochemistry uh, because it's it's a kind of uh, uh, the neurons tend to exist in, in a kind of a chemical soup <laughs> and uh, they allow um, uh, certain um, units in chemistry to, to pass uh, or not pass and stuff like that, and we have uh, notions of um, uh, when it comes to neurons, uh, so, um, uh, action potential, etc. And, and, and yeah, so it's kind of an ele ele electrochemical, uh, should I say, electrochemical uh, um, uh, soup. <coughs> uh, the human brain is. Uh, but then, of course, there's more to. Uh, the brain than uh, neural networks. Uh, anyway, uh, artificial neural networks, what are they for? They, well, uh, pattern re recognition is, is uh, something very prominent. Uh, as for deep learning, <coughs> I haven't yet recognized uh, anything that uh, is uh, substantially different. Uh, one thing that's substantially different is that you don't use an, uh, a regular computer uh, because uh, regular computers are very slow. Uh, in order to speed up the process, you, you use um, uh, smaller units um, like graphic cards and stuff, but it's, that's a hardware issue. And it's very normal um, in, in the of the uh, progress of, of things uh, uh, electronic, uh, that it is a matter of hardware <laughs> development. Uh, <coughs> uh, very little has um, ever happened on, on, on the principal uh, level. Um, very little. <laughs> um, so, uh, deep learning. Uh, I think deep learning may have been uh, originated or uh, fueled um, by uh, a number of papers, uh, and um, what those papers were about was basically a kind of redesigning of uh, 
artificial neural networks. And uh, this uh, redesigning um, gave birth to uh, something that was baptized uh, deep learning. Uh, now, deep learning is, uh, in principle, it's, it's basically no different from, from uh, NN stuff that uh, were around back in 1990. Uh, <laughs> you have a flowchart. <laughs> That's um, very common in, <laughs> in a, a computer uh, based um, uh, uh, learning or, or, or program. Uh, you have a flowchart, and, and uh, I, I, on this little shelf of mine, I, I do have a flowchart of a, of a robot uh, from MIT, and that flowchart is uh, pretty elaborate. It is, but <laughs> and, uh, so what you do basically is that you uh, build up uh, kind of layers of the very sophisticated flowcharts. Uh, and flowcharts are supposed to, to to do kind of simulations of of, of, uh, of uh, AI uh, neural networks. That's what the flowcharts flowcharts are about. Uh, so uh, if you implement that in in a kind of hardware, uh, and you, you you kind of build layers, uh, then the more layers you have, the more intelligent, so to speak. Uh, uh, this uh, robot would be, um, and uh, the more abstract, perhaps, um, uh, uh, the more abstract uh, uh, tasks or so, uh, the robot uh, will be able to uh, uh, perform. Uh, and deep learning is, is, is just that. It's it's a uh, mm, it's a uh, a novel approach, or fairly novel uh, by now, a novel approach to neural networks that made them a little more flexible, perhaps. Uh, I haven't read the fine print. Uh, <laughs> but uh, um, the results were uh, very promising. And uh, like, all, like I, oh, I've already stated, uh, you don't use a computer. Really, uh, what you use is a smaller kind of hardware, uh, and that is uh, a pretty normal um, uh, in in the progress of um, uh, computer-based uh, or electronic uh, uh, devices. Uh, it becomes smaller and smaller all the time due to uh, a kind of refinery of, of, of uh, uh, the hardware. Um, that's basically what changes, uh, um, and uh, that is exactly what people did with uh, deep learning. They, uh, you know, they forgot about the computer and, and used uh, and a smaller uh, units uh, instead. Uh, typically, a, a graphics card, uh, an average one, uh, <coughs> and uh, the reason for that. Uh, was to speed up the, the process, and uh, as far as I know, uh, there has been kind of contests and stuff with um, deep learning machines ba uh, based on artificial uh, neural networks and, and uh, uh, conventional uh, learning, <laughs> so to speak. And, and uh, deep learning apparently was a great deal faster and. and uh, a great deal, also a great deal more uh, precise or exact uh, in uh, learning or comprehending a, a, an image, um, and that's a, that's a very, very common, uh, very common task to, to test a, a machine. It's it's, uh, it's uh, you know it's uh, by way of recognizing an image. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> a pattern recognition. In a pattern, reg pattern recognition, so to speak. Sorry, in a nutshell. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not going to say anything about connections, uh, <laughs> and I'm not going to say anything about conceptual spaces either. 
uh, more than uh, at the conceptual spaces is something that's uh, kind of in between uh, connections and and uh, and A and M, uh, the two extremes. And um, conceptual spaces is also the most novel one. Uh, a and M has been around, I think, since uh, the Turing test. Um, and uh, connectionism also, connectionism may, may be older. But those are the ones um, um, that I'm aware of. Um, um, and yeah, that adds up. Um, to the grand finale. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk about other things later on than uh, artificial intelligence. So, yeah, if you've enjoyed this so far, um, I would, you know, like you to uh, stick around. Thanks. <laughs>